All right, morning, morning, folks. We just walked the little bit of trail back to connect to this trail, which is the Finger Lakes Trail. That's the sign you saw last night. It is nip noppy, quite nip noppy this morning. Um, it's about six o'clock, woke up at five, got the gloves on, the thermals on, the puffies on, the balcava on. It's surprisingly cold. You forget that tomorrow is going to be June. Um, it's definitely this cold snap that's moving through the northeast. But um, yeah, it's all good. We got about 10 miles, give or take. We'll see what the mileage actually turns out to be. Um, got a couple hunting closures that we got to go around. So that's why I can't pull exact mileage right now. But comfortably can say it's going to be about 10 miles. Um, Maybe four miles of trail, six miles of road. Yeah, to get into Ellicottsville. So, yeah, we're going to cruise with the morning. Maybe go find ourselves a diner. We should get in, yeah, 10 miles by 9, 10 miles by 10. Not too worried about it. That's 9 and 10 is like the sweet spot to hit getting into town. It really feels like you got all day there. So, that's where we're going to. Last town in New York, folk. Let's get it. This is why it's cold this morning, folks. The sun can't penetrate that thick, thick cloudage. This is why it's chilly. This is why it's hot. This is why it's not. All right, folks, we're on pretty fancy road or fancy beast road and this cuts up and across and then puts us into the last little piece of trail that's open for without the hunting closure so we have this for about a mile or so tiny piece of trail for about another mile and then it's mostly road walk into um L.A. Cottsville but yeah this is definitely why it's still chilly this morning Thick, thick plumage. Sun's awake, it just can't get through the clouds. Huh. There's the fancy. All right, so we're about to cross this rail bed. And as we were getting here, you could see through the, some gaps in the trees they built this rail bed as far as the eye can see in marsh that's a hard gig folks like everywhere around to the right everywhere around to the left in this little valley is just straight up marsh so hardy we're hiking through it wow it's really cool The ominous rail bed. All right, folks. The little piece of trail that we thought was actually still open is actually closed. I'll show you right where it's closed by. It's right off Fancy Road. We thought we were going to be able to hike this piece and then connect to the road after this, but hunting closed. So we're actually um, not too upset about that. It's only like a mile a trail and you would have had to walk the road anyway. So, yeah, not too upset about it. It's the closure right off of the South 240, um, right up there. So, yep, now we are on pure road walk all the way into Ellicottsville. Again, it's, it's a mile of trail that is closed. When we were getting close to it, our legs are itching for town. Um, it's gonna just open up. That would probably be pretty thick back there too. So yeah, not too upset about it. All right, pure road. All right, folks, as this road brings us towards the road that connects us into Ellicottsville, we're dropping somewhat down out of these little ridge lines. Um, and it is straight up cold. As you can see, there's still a lot of that mist. 
Um, we had a touch of sun when we were up higher, but we're back in that misty stuff. Um, wow, you forget it's summer sometimes. It's not like the cold that is like debilitating, but it's pretty cold. Nothing like a diner, diner food, diner morning though to wake us up. It's a little after seven. This pace will be getting in around nine. Um, yeah, gonna grub down. All right, folks, about 7.20, and we're just coming off of the connector road to 242, like two, T-O, 242. Um, and then we rock, rock 242 all the way into Ellicottsville. There's a lot of pieces of trail up in these little ridges that are closed from May 1st to the 31st. If you look at the Finger Lakes Trail maps, um, for the most part, if you're hiking this in October, um, Sept September, October, well, October, November, and May, you're gonna be doing a lot of the road walk into town. So we're on this the rest of the way into town. Uh, I just missed it on this board. If I stand here to wait a little longer, Mike probably's gonna get farther down the road. It said 42 degrees out right now, which, yeah, that's believable. So this morning, when that sun before that sun came up, I could see it being somewhere in the 30s. Um, we were higher up in elevation. So, yeah, that's something. That is something. Let's see, it's about to switch over in a second because I remember seeing this one. One second. Come on. Come on. After this one, I think. I think after this one. Come on. Come on. I gotta walk, folks. Go. Jesus Christ. All right. I'm gonna keep checking it. But I gotta keep walking, too. They're really congratulating someone for something. Is it gonna switch? You gonna switch for me, baby? Okay, I think it's right after this welcome sign. Yep, there it is. Zoom, 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 zoom. There we go. Sweet, got the shot I wanted. Gotta keep moving. Beautiful flowers along this road too. I think they might technically be weeds, but beautiful. So it's a little after eight, like right at 8.04 maybe. Um, as you can see, that mist is just starting to lift off. So that mist, it was thick. Um, this valley must just get caught with moisture. Um, when we were coming down the road to connect into this one, it was like all swampy. And then there's a big creek right by me. That's a pond, but there's a lot of moisture down in these valleys. So yeah, that was really misty. But we're about eh, two and a half from, I think, the center of Ellicottsville. And yeah, we're sticking on pace to get there by nine. Breakfast time. Let's get it. All right, folks, you've seen it there first. Ellicottville, one mile. And within that mile, if not already, we're passing 700 miles. So awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Seven hundred miles, folks. Um, yeah, I think I've touched on it. I'll probably talk more on it um, once we get to town and settled in a town video. But um, seven hundred miles for there's a Tim Hortons magpie. What? Why would you walk by that? Why? Are you truly Canadian, magpie? Are you truly Canadian? There's a Tim Hortons. Oh, so rude. Wow, folks, that is the rudest act I have seen on trail yet. Magpie, one, says goodbye to her nationality, like just spitting in its face pretty much. And then two, there's donuts and coffee. What is she doing? Um, so yeah, we're in Ellicottsville. 
or close to it, there's a Timmy H's right on the corner of town. So if you guys want donuts that are amazing, stop by. But if you guys also are Canadian and you choose to hike this trail and you choose to honor your heritage, stop by. Wow, Magpie, rude. If you can't see, I'm frustrated. I am absolutely furious. Absolutely, absolutely furious. So, whew, that hurt. I'm not even Canadian born and that hurt my feelings. Wow. Ellicottsville, folks, very cool. All right, a little bit after the Timmy H's and the cemetery, there's a sidewalk the rest of the way into town. But if you can't tell, I'm so furious. Magpie, what are you doing? I get it, there's a town ahead, but what are you doing? Oh my God, I got feelings, folks. I got many feelings around what just happened. I, I don't know if this relationship can last. Um, we were gonna be together. I, I didn't see an end, end in sight ever, but the fact, the sheer fact, that she would pass up a Tim Hortons. Oh my God. That's, that's stuff that ends not only relationships, that ends families, that ends like blood bonds. That, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I got, I got some feelings, folks. I got a lot of strong feelings. I'm gonna have to work through those today. And it's gonna be very tough um, to move forward together. Um, so please pray for us. Pray that we'll get over this hump together. Um, it's not even a hump, it's more like a giant Everest-sized mountain of problems. So please, please, please pray for us. <sighs> Passing up the Tim Hortons, that just, it destroys my soul. It's like I've been ripped apart limb by limb. I just can't, can't stop. Oh, all right. Please pray for us. I think, I don't know, I can't see us getting through this right now, but I'm gonna hold faith. I'm gonna hold faith that it will happen. But right now, no, not right now. I'm like the sad face on the tree. Oh, that you can't see because there we go. So the trail brings you right by the grocery store tops. Um, and there's a hotel right across the street. I think it's a quality inn or comfort inn or something. Um, but yeah, this is where we'll resupply. Um, we're actually not gonna stay at that spot because one, it's super more pricey than the other spots in town. And also I like to support mom and pops when you can. So we're staying at this like little inn type thing. Um, but I'll show you once we get there, but no sign of Magpie yet. Don't know where she went. So I'll find her eventually. 44 degrees, 838. Cute town. Ooh, a subway. All right, folks, on the way into town, we stopped at Katie's Cafe. Um, because it looked pretty bomb for breakfast and you could smell it right next to the grocery store. So we're gonna grab some breakfast, um, just hang out in the sun for a little bit and eat when we got into town. Looks awesome. Hey Magpie. Hey. Really cute downtown. Breakfast at uh, that cafe was glorious. We're walking up to Martha, where we're gonna take a left. And um, yeah, I'll keep on grabbing bits and pieces of film, but it's a beautiful town day. The puppers were really starting to come out. There were like four dogs that came up when we were there. Really cool. That's today. That is today. Ready to get to the hotel. Hi folks, turning a left actually on Jefferson Street. This is where we stopped the tracker for today. And we're going to go see if we can find our Hody Modi. A uh, little early to check in. But, oh, this school was made in 1887. Uh, I'm going to come back for a lot of either video or pictures. we got to walk back this way to resupply. Um, but we're going to see if we can check on in to the hotel. Beautiful town.
All right, folks, a little bit before we go resupply, Magpie's doing some math. Um, we're gonna have a long section coming up, about 180 miles to Clarion. 184 miles. 184 miles. Um, that's right in the ballpark, we thought. So gonna have to do a six day resupply, about. But something I wanted to point out before I got sucked into the town and all the town chores and whatnot is that's our laundry. So this place doesn't have laundry, but the guy at the front desk at first, he was a little standoffish, but then as we talked more and more about trail, what we're doing, all that, he became friendlier and friendly-ish. Um, he seemed a little sleepy this morning. Yeah, a little sleepy, but he did offer, once he gets back to work at 4 or 5 tonight, he'll do the laundry for us in the industrial machines, which is awesome. These My socks are shredded, but I also wanted to point out look at this room it's really nice he upgraded us not only was he kind of weirded out that we were checking in early but then he also upgraded us because the room we had wasn't available which was way smaller of a room um not as nice probably and yeah he was really friendly um he wasn't friendly externally but internally he was he very kept, kind yeah he was very kind like externally he wasn't bubbly and joyful but like he would keep suggesting stuff like gruffly that was very nice. So he upgraded us to this room. Um, this is the Edelweiss Lodge um, in Ellicottsville. Super nice. Um, we haven't been stepping on trail for a lot, but we had this reservation before the last week did what the last week did. So we kept it and I'm happy we did. It's a nice little town. We're going to go get some gear, go get some resupply. And yeah, last town in New York, baby. Let's do it. Really nice room. All right, folks, stop on in Elliottville Coffee Company slash Outdoor Place. They um, gave me a cup. One second. So the owner of that outdoor store, super nice, um, super friendly guy. He uh, first was asking what we were looking for. So we kind of told him about ultra stuff like that. Um, and then when he couldn't help us out, oh, look at the tree. Ski tree. A ski tree. But when he couldn't, didn't have what we had, he said um, the shoes got replaced by the coffee shop. So really interesting guy. He kind of runs an outdoor company here for six months of the year and then runs a coffee shop in Peru for the other six months. So the coffee and bagel shop must have started bumping out better business than the shoe business because he replaced it. So instead, he just stopped and chatted us up, gave us free coffee, gave us free bagels. Offered us a discount on any gear that we wanted to buy, which I was just feeling too stressed out about time to like look for a new shirt. But yeah, offered us discounts on gear. Um, told us to come back for at the end of the day when all the bagels are gone. Um, a lot of people are telling us to come around and like spend time with them in this town. So it's it's a really friendly town. Ellicottville, if not the first favorite, second favorite favorite town now. Um, just really friendly vibe and like that main street is super nice. And the compactness of it for a hiker is amazing. By the time we've talked and walked, we've walked from our resupply point past our breakfast point past what our future lunch or dinner spot's gonna be, pretty much back to our hotel. So, really, really good vibes in this town. Really good vibes. That's a resupply pack right there, folks. Magpie had the suggestion we bring both packs. I told her, I told her, no, it's fine, let's just bring one pack. But both packs are filled with food now. It was smart, very smart. Always listen to Magpie? Always listen to Magpie. It's about to be wing night, folks, with some live music. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, baby? This is my happy place. Oh. Buffalo, sesame, Thai chili. Oh, yeah.